Okay guys, so in this video I'm gonna show you a basic mapping strategy with a wheeled robot, okay? So the logic's quite simple, the robot has a GPS so we know its position and it also has a lighter. So the basic logic for the lighter is that it uh, captures, let's say, the front distance as the minimum of the lighter data. So the lighter data is like an array of the readings of the line, right, of the scan. Then if this distance is below a certain threshold, I've put here 0 0.5 meters. What it does, it marks the current location. And what is to mark the current location? It's basically to get like a grid index. So we're actually transforming our real world map into a matrix, a 2D matrix. And we're marking this location as one. What else, what else? Okay, so uh, if it's still in this condition uh, below the threshold, what it does, it is going to turn left for a random amount of time. So I've just put this factor 20 here, but it's going to be decreased like, uh, like across the simulation. So it's just to create a stochastic factor so it's actually like this rotate left function here is actually just turning the motors, uh, just putting the motors in the correct velocity. Okay, cool. So yeah, so I'm sending all this data to another Python application I've done just to visualize, but let's see how it goes. So let's start WeBots and let's start the viewer okay great so it's running at full speed and as we can see in the little right hand figure is that it's actually updating the map quite well so whenever it reaches the wall it will send it will mark right that location as as an obstacle and send to this application to register in this grid map and it's a quite simple example, but as we can see, it really does the map. So if we really wanna do, if we really wanna see the correct locations, the real world locations, we can just transform this position back to the, to the map because I'm applying some sort of factor there to have a better fit here in the map. But see, the logic's functioning. And let's see what I can do next week.